Today we're headed to the Three County Showgrounds for Kickback Customs Motorbike Show. But also Harley Davidson is there and we're going to be trying out the new Harley Road Glide and Harley Street Glide. So stick around um, and I'll see you down at the show. Okay, I hate that. That's a nice Ferrari there, isn't it? Here's the Harley Experience ride out. And we're going to be doing that in a bit. So we've got the showgrounds over there. I think it was back that way. Oh, well, we've got to look for the brown gate, it says. Was that not the brown gate? So we're trying to find the brown gate, the brown entrance. Tell me, has anyone else struggled to uh, find their way into the brown entrance before? So thank you for joining us on this Harley Davidson lead demo ride. Uh, I will be leading the ride. I'm riding that orange Pan America, that weird that's down there. It is a Harley, honestly. Uh, don't find your bikes, then we're going to get you. A bit dusty. Look at that screen, it's humongous. Here we go. Oh, what a beast. Oh, the presence of this bike is, uh, is really impressive. And it's super comfortable. And the dashboard, wow. It's got a radio. Feels like you're driving a car, I swear. And the indicators, it's got one on the left here and one on the right. It is so torquey as well. The brakes are pretty strong. The throttle grips are uh, very wide, chunky, got a bit of girth. And the gear changes feel very uh, agricultural. It's not like a sports gearbox with a quick shifter, that's for sure. It's a good old thunk when you change gear. I'm quite enjoying this. It's not the standard bike that I would usually ride, but it is something a bit different. And man, it does feel quite badass. That's for sure. And it's reasonably nimble, you know, like for the size of this bike. I can't remember exactly how much it weighs, but it is a lump. It feels very smooth. It feels like it'd be very comfortable on a tour. You know, chopping your way through thousands of miles. I can see why these bikes are so uh, popular in America with all of their big, long, straight roads. is very different especially on like a hill start you feel like you've got a lot of weight it sounds awesome I'm actually surprised at how uh, how buffety it is I would have thought this shark nose screen would have uh, protected me a little bit from the wind there uh, going on at high speed, this screen seems to just stick the wind front and centre of my helmet. Don't know what this does. Ah, gives you some airflow. Maybe that'll help with the buffeting. But yeah, 1923 cc engine. Big thumping V twin. I don't know what the brakes are, but they are reasonably decent. Am I going to get told off if I overtake this dude? They told us not to overtake. I want to test it out on the corners. Uh, between the Street Glide 
and the Road Glide, it really is a choice between the Batwing fairing and the Shark Nose fairing. They are effectively exactly the same bike. So my advice is, if you're going for a bike like this, just pick exactly what you like the look of. Don't worry about people online who are saying that one handles better than the other or one's faster than the other. They're the same bike. Just pick what you like the look of, what you'd be happy to open the garage to and what will put a smile on your face. Because, yeah, arguably they're, they're the identical same bike. Surprisingly, the bike handled around this corner a lot easier than expected. Now, I do wonder, am I allowed to wave at sports bikes on a Harley? Or have I got to flip the birdie? I've got to say, you can see why people enjoy the cruiser style and the cruiser lifestyle. It is a completely different type of ride. And arguably, I can see there's a time and a place for it. It is quite a visceral feeling riding a Harley. All that torque. <laughs> what a beast. I really want to overtake this dude. It's going so slow. Won't let it rip a bit. And for a big bike, it doesn't have feel nice in these corners. It's very predictable. It's not wallowy at all like I thought it would be. I mean of course it's not a sports suspension but you get a lot of confidence in the tyres. I think it's got so much weight over the front end that you do feel very planted. Especially in sweeping corners. But yeah you absolutely feel you know, you're quite high up and quite domineering on the road. Definitely feel like you can be seen and you've got presence on one of these things. And the brakes are reasonably good, you know. I mean, the stopping power, you wouldn't expect to have anchors that are, you know, super powerful, but they're decent. It's got self-cancelling indicators, which are nice to have. I imagine there's cruise control on here somewhere. It's a puddle, mate. It ain't a Ford. Come on. It is fairly vibey through the handlebars, but I think you can live with that. It's not like buzzy, it's more um, just a little bit of a rumble. It does feel very heavy, like if you dropped it, <laughs> you would be struggling to pick this bad boy back up, that's for sure. So what do these menu buttons do? So we can switch traction control on or off. We've got a mode here, what does mode do? <laughs> I'm just going to concentrate on the road, I think. It's quite a stretch to get to that mode button with my little thumbs. Let's check a leg over. So it instantly feels a little bit like you've got your arms higher on these bars. I notice the mirrors are very different. They're on the handlebars rather than on the fairing. Stick it in sport mode. <laughs> I feel like um, the road glide's definitely got more of a traditional Harley feel to it. With these, uh, I guess they're called, I guess you could call them ape hanger handlebars. They are quite small ape hangers, but by all means they've got this kind of. Which bike do I prefer? Oh, it's a hard question, you know. I think as I'm used to having my hands down low on a sports bike, I do prefer the street glide, you know. But actually, when you relax your arms down onto these bars, it's quite relaxing, you know. It certainly absorbs the 
bump some potholes nicely. <laughs> what does make me laugh is that this thing's got a it's got a radio. <laughs> what a beast! It's definitely got the noise. I imagine if you put a custom exhaust on it would bark like a typical Harley V-twin. I'm going to turn the radio off because it's, it's just distracting you know. What's the point of a radio on a bike? I've got to be honest. You could hardly really hear it. So the main differences between this and the Street Glide are the fairings. So on the Street Glide you've got the back wing fairings and the headlights move with the handlebars as you turn them whereas the road glide the headlights and the fairings completely independent it's attached to the frame um, and they don't move as you turn the bike I feel that makes the steering on the front just a little bit lighter on the road glide and apparently it means that the steering is affected less by the wind as well but both bikes are ridiculously comfy they're like riding along in an armchair and you've got all your creature comforts I mean look at the size of that display you've got it's got radio you've got these cubby holes are we pulling over you do get a little bit of vibes through the uh, the handlebars in the wing mirror but by all means you can see really nicely out of out of both the road glide and street glides wing mirrors you know as I said on the previous bike this is all going to come down to personal preference you know what do you want to open the garage to you know do you want to look at that shark nose fairing on the road glide or you want the back wing of the street glide they have the identical engine, they handle very similarly. I'd say this has definitely got the more classic Harley, you know, arms high, feet forward, riding style. Uh, the Batwing Street Glide has definitely got a more low down, and I'd say slightly more relaxed riding position. However, I'm getting used to these eight panger handlebars and you can just kind of relax your shoulders and your elbows down and you're kind of just hanging on to the bars and it's a really nice feeling I can really see why people are attracted to these Harleys and you'd be surprised actually how nimble they are and it does turn down onto the corners quite nicely and they, you know, just like the street glide this bike feels really planted I don't know if it's just the amount of weight that's over the over the tyres. You know, I don't know what it would be like in the rain or slippery conditions but I've got a lot of confidence in the front and rear tyre and I feel like you really could just lean and lean and lean until you deck out the pegs or the, uh, the footboards. Again the road glide is just as easy to turn around this tight left hander. This bike hustles man, it isn't a slow bike that's for sure, I don't know what I was expecting from this 1900cc but man it was rapid then, the torque, just a big surge of torque and the brakes are actually really good, but yeah I've really enjoyed um, riding something completely different today in these Harleys, they are absolute spectacular bikes. I'd imagine if you were in the market for a cruiser, you know, these two bikes would definitely be quite high up on the list. <laughs> I've got a bit of a better group this time. Oh. And it 
absorbs these bumps easily. Suspension is very compliant. Let's uh, hang back a bit and give it some beans. I think I hit the limiter there. I've got to say, now I've found sport mode, um, this bike is a completely different beast. <laughs> I just felt the back end lock up then. Yeah, you can definitely lock up the back changing down on this. Don't know if you heard the rear tyre squeal then. The engine braking, as we just found out, is also really good. And the, the gearbox, just like on the Street Glide, feels very agricultural. But also, you know, very reassuring as well. You hear the thunk, you know you're in gear. But I like that about these Harleys. But yeah, what I'm surprised by is how nicely it holds the corners. <laughs> There's a cone there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, guys. 